Welcome to No Clip Mode, the place where Mega Man gets his power-ups, because that capsule looks an awful lot like the one that X uses to get his power-ups. I'm Glitch. And that sound that you just heard was not me getting an item in the game. That was my cell phone going off. How professional. That was Come actually on, one was recording the game audio through my microphone, too. Oh, uh, even worse. Oh, also, these are my co-hosts, uh, Doorman and Nameless. He is. And eventually they're going to record games and I'm going to be a co-host. Oh, we'll see about that. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just solo everything. Hell with it. Fine. <laughs> you oh, look, can I got the ass one of the games I play. I put the no uh, in. I forgot something important here. And it makes me feel bad. Did you see right behind that statue? There no. is a room with secret power-ups in that little conspicuous section of pipe. I totally forgot about it on this playthrough. And I just now saw it and went, oh, duh. I don't even remember what's in there. I can't remember either. I just know there's something there. Come on, maybe it, it there was we go. that item that yeah. you kept looking for but couldn't find. The spring ball. The spring ball. Yeah. Maybe it was. No, no, you don't. You don't get the spring ball until. Uh, well, see, that's the thing. Right I around the entrance exactly, Meridia. I can't remember exactly what's behind there, uh, power up wise. What's behind? And I can't remember two. if you can even reach it now. But I, I'm pretty sure you're right. You don't get the spring ball until Meridia, and you need the spring ball or extreme bomb jumping skills I, to get, like, the last reserve tank. I remember exactly where the spring ball is located. It's in Criteria right near the entrance to Meridia. Seriously? Like, in the, like just outside of the wrecked ship, basically. You're gonna like, on the other side. On the, on the eastern side of the wrecked ship. Uh, anyway, we're back in, uh, where is this, Brinstar? Uh, currently Meridia. Now, Brinstar. Oh, whatever. You know what I mean. <laughs> Don't be picky. This is the red soil area. Yeah. Are these not all the same planet? Yeah, they are all the same uh, planet. They're just different the, the regions. The whole game takes place on Zebus. It's just divided into different, I guess you could say, regions. Ah, okay. The, the surface land criteria, the underground area, Brinstar, which is what we're in right now. Uh, there's also the watery area, Meridia, the lava slash bubbly area that we were just in, Norfair, and a few other smaller areas that we'll get to later. Yep. Oh, these uh, these creatures, by the way, are called rippers. These little beetles in them. Very amazing. They're rocket powered rippers. Oh, I fell. <laughs> Their name doesn't feel very justified to me. They don't really rip well, much of any. The rocket-powered rippers do feel justified to have it, but they're called Ripper 2. Well, this room looks like fun. I hate this room so much. It's just a pain in the ass. What about the Ripper 22? Oh, God. I they can Wait, break the speed that? of sound. I, I don't get the reference. Well, apparently Ripper 2 has a blue flame and Ripper 22 has a red flame. Really? Apparently. I think the Ripper 22 then must be first encountered in a place we haven't reached yet, but I'll try and point it out if I remember. That's what I think it is. Why, yes. Hamper bombs. As I Delicious. always Delicious. But very fattening. Well, there are lipids just bouncing around over here. Indeed. Freezing them to walk on. These enemies go straight to Samus' ass. That sounds terrible. I guess it depends on how you like your women. I like my women Some like guys I are like into my that, you coffee. Know. 
strong and polite. I believe you. No, I don't. <laughs> this is me not falling into the giant Samus eating plants. It's a lot easier going to the left than it is going to the right. I bet. I have no idea why that would be. I don't know either, it just is. It's, it's like a fighting sad. game. Yeah. As you can see, I'm going back this way again. I was going to say, I thought I you didn't something. need power bombs at this point before you no, fight you somebody else. Nope. You have to use the power bombs to get to it. Oh, right, I forgot. I'm getting my order of events screwed up. Good thing I'm not. Stupid Super Metroid. Stupid Sexy Flanders. Oh, here's a secret that a lot of people don't catch when they go through the game. Oh, I don't do it yet. Shit, uh -huh. I must do it on the way out. Not even you caught it. I, I caught it. I just couldn't remember if I did it on the way in or the way out. And I was like, oh, it's time. It's time. More elevator action. Heck yeah. All elevators all the time. Those are some pretty powerful hamburgers. Yep. They're, uh... Until you get the x-ray scope, the hamburgers are pretty much your investigate for power-ups item. Ah. Oh, uh, I went in there after I got the map just so I could show you how the hack artists had altered the line work for Samus' suit to fit her current appearance for this hat. They were decently thorough. I would hope so. One thing I will admit about this game is I wasn't a fan of how early on you get the ice beam compared to like everything else. Why? Because all the normal enemies freeze in one hit and that kind of nullifies a lot of the threat. No, it's just the Norfair enemies that do, because they're weak to the ice cream. And the later ones Here we don't. go. This is part one. This is the part of the game that freaks me out the most now, uh, and really creeped me as a kid. This Everybody, is Krakemeyer. <laughs> you can't stereo, actually you damage him. So what do you do? See how shoot he's backing up every time I shoot him? Uh-huh. Well, you wait till he opens his mouth and try and get a shot in there. You can shoot those fireballs as well, and they turn into like health drops and stuff. You can also use missiles or super missiles to shoot into his mouth, but it's kind of hard to get those right. Missiles only make him go back one step, and he pretty much immediately recovers from it. Uh, and super missiles make him go back like three or four steps, but it's so hard to get them into his mouth because they fire slowly, uh, and he'll block them either with those fireballs or his hands, and you don't usually have many super missiles by this point. So charge beam is pretty much the best option you've got because it makes him back up two steps, and you don't run out, and if you have the spacer, it's really easy to get into his mouth. This guy just looks disturbing on all sides. He's like melting and he's got eight eyes. This is he's how falling into lava and dying horribly. And then comes the thumbs up. That freaky shit. Yeah. I'll look down on your well at least at least he's dead now. We can all rest easy. Ow. Also spikes. Ugh. Oh. Another boss fight. Or something. And it's skeleton oh. Oh, God. And now it's dead. Oh. 
He just had to get that in, didn't he? Yep. He's dead. Final We're done. No clip All right. mode. See you next time. Yep. Next time on No Clip Mode, Super Metroid Part 5. Crocomire is dead. Blah. Blah.